All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Today our video is about uh, why Muslims, why, I mean, is it a coincidence that when you are a Muslim, a Muslim, you are super intelligent? In a previous video today, we shows we showed tons of reference which is nothing but an embarrassment as an example Muhammad he said if a Muslim woman she have a perfume she is a whore but Muhammad himself he put perfume we showed that a Muslim woman if she take hair from her face she will go to hell but Muhammad take hair from his face and take hair from his ass If a woman she add a wig to her hair, maybe she have a very bad hair. Allah will curse her. And what is the reason for all of this? What this is drama is about? Because you are trying to change the way Allah He made you. But Muhammad He color his hair. <laughs> Muhammad wanna have a red head. Isn't it? This is changing the way Allah He made you. Muhammad even command the Muslim to circumcise themselves. Isn't it? This is the command to change the way Allah He made you. By the way, Muhammad never have circumcision, and yet the Muslim they say <laughs> that Christians don't circumcise. We Muslims, but their Prophet himself never circumcised. And by the way, if there is a Muhammad and can prove it to me, <laughs> I challenge you. So. He forbid women from doing everything is normal for a female to do, but Muhammad himself he do what female does. Muhammad he put eyeliner three times a day. Muhammad don't even piss standing, he piss sitting. Muhammad wear his wife clothing. Muhammad shave his mustache, Muhammad take hair from his chest, his body, he make sugar to shave his body. But if a woman she do, she is a bad woman. But then you expect what? You expect the Mohammedan in the comment section, they will refute you. They will say something at least about the topic. No. The Mohammedan always, they try to find a refuge. This guy, he is a Muslim, he called himself John. I mean, the Muslim John. <laughs> Jesus Christ and his mother, that Virgin Mary, as long they as they're living in this earth, in this world, at the time, never say themselves were God. Come on, worship us. Because both of them, not the Christians. You know, I heard first time Zachary Naik saying, I challenge you to show me one verse in the Bible that Jesus Christ, he said, I'm a Christian. Imagine Christ will say, I'm a Christian. <laughs> and now we showed them their prophet ordering Muslim women to give their breast and Muslim men, they can suck it. What the Mohammedan, they changed the topic to talk about. Jesus and his mother, when they were alive, they were never, and they never said, the, you know, I'm God, worship us. Uh, you know, okay, Abdul, first of all, thank you for mentioning this. This is a proof that Allah is a stupid, Aka Muhammad, because no Christian believe that Mary is God. So when your stupid Quran said that Allah asked Isa, did you say to your people, worship me and my mother? That is showing us that the one who wrote the Quran is a dumb as Joe Biden dumb. I mean, even your prophet, he did beat Joe Biden. So the Mohammedan here, when they make this such a comment, not only they're trying to run away from what we showed them. I mean, what kind of a prophet he ordered his followers, his female, it's haram for them to show their hair, but they can give their breast 
and they can suckle adult men and you will see Muslim like Mimi Hijab going around and asking Muslim women who they are married to suckle their boobs which is a Muslim ask him what are you doing man is what kind of mannerism is that Muhammad Hijab said what 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 why why is it wrong he believe it's halal but this is what his prophet said so we made the video to say why the Muslim make fun of Muhammad some command and a statement what the Muslim they say Jesus and his mother they never said that they are God worship me stupid and dumb now we go to the second Abdul another Abdul he is the smartest between his family as I heard is like you know he is the smartest boy in the family his name is Al Bahar <clears throat> Bahar in Arabic mean the sea and uh, don't remind me of the stupid statement in the Quran about the sea that the two seas will never uh, they don't meet and they never transgress because the stupid Muhammad thought that the uh, fresh water and salty water are two seas and they never really ever met you know the Muslim they will show you a video of the water coming from the river going in the sea this is not what Muhammad talking about he says they will never ever meet never never between them there is a barzakh barzakh is a dry land you can open the chapter interpretation of Ibn Kathir and you will see however here he said I have a question look Al-Bahar he did not ask himself how come the Prophet said that if a woman she put a perfume she is a whore but he put perfume and he go between women and he is not a whore how come if a woman take care from her face she is a whore and she will go to hell but Muhammad take care from his face this is not not what he cared for Muhammad wearing women clothes Muhammad showing his legs Muhammad kissing men down their belly uh, Muhammad taking off and striptease with man and hugging him that's not important for him he have a better question for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son who is God is the verse in the is, is uh, in this verse he gave his son to whom mm. you know Abdul and he is a thinker I think we should put this guy in the museum because for sure he is one of his kind. Hmm. Al Bahar. For God, he loved the world. First of all, never take what Muslim they say in the comment as a quotation. Muslim always they fabricate and they cut off and they change what the Bible says. They are liars like their prophet. So here, this is the comment. It says three hours ago, and I gave him the answer. Uh, actually, I was going to say folk, fake uh, question, but I think stupid Google uh, take my accent as uh, I, was, I was going to say fake uh, quotation, but by you know Google type fake question. Anyway, John three sixteen. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whoever believes in him would not perish but have everlasting life so I answer says the verse explain itself God the Father sent his God Son so whoever believe in him he will have you know salvation he will live he will not go to hell like the Muhammad hmm. but uh, Al-Bahar he said oh okay okay uh, thank you for the first question is answered what about the second one the father gave his son to who I mean the Mohammedan they are super intelligent and he is the one who posed this aren't you the idiot who posted this says he loved the world so he sent it send him to who to the world but you know the Muslims when they decide to be silly they they make like you know he gift free gift to who huh what 
So uh, Muhammad and he tried to do mockery of Jesus or what Jesus did. And, you know, and then he says, I never receive a gift from God. Read what he said, not my words. The verse says, he gave a son. And I answer him, you can read it. And then he says, he gave his son to the world. It's a gift to the world. It is a free gift. Hmm. It's not a payment. And here you see that the Muhammadan, when they make those statements, they are showing us one thing. They are bully, like they're a prophet and they're God. And they are insulting even their God. Because now if I ask him, when Allah, he sent Muhammad to guide you to Islam, did you get Islam as a gift or you paid for it? The answer will be, yes, he paid for it. He become a slave. He gave Muhammad loan. The Quran confirmed that Muhammad collected money from Muslims. Even he forced them to pay him. To the point even you cannot even meet Muhammad without paying money. Imagine you have somebody claim to be a prophet. But he will not talk to you unless you are rich and you pay. If you remember the story of the blind man who Muhammad made fun of him and gave him a face. Why? Because he was speaking to the rich people of Quraysh. And the blind man was asking him questions about Islam. So instead of taking advantage, okay, this blind man is coming, asking me a question, I give him a face. And even the tafsir says, the prophet was afraid that those rich people will say, oh, look who follow Muhammad, a poor blind man. So Muhammad don't want to give himself such an image. He want rich people to follow him because he worship money. So if you go in the Quran, in chapter 58, verse number 12, it says, Oh, you believe, if you want to consult, when you want to consult with the Messenger of Allah, in private, spend something in charity. Charity to whom? To give it to Muhammad. He is the charity leader. <laughs> He is the cheerleader, the the what they call cheer cheerleader with the with the short skirt. Before your private consultation, okay, hold on. Why somebody have to spend something in any way? Charity. Imagine I say to you, okay, you know what? If you want to talk to me, if you want to attend my YouTube, you have to do this and that. So you want to talk to Muhammad is in private. Muhammad put conditions. You have to have money. Number two, you have to spend the money. Number three, to who? To him. And then, okay, but if you could not find, okay, Allah is all merciful, he forgive. He make it as if it's a sin. So he make you feel guilty when you enter into him without paying. So yes, in Christianity, Everything God gave us, we believe, is a gift. Our life is a gift. Our food is a gift. That's why when we pray to God, we call him the Father. We don't call him just God. We call him the Father for a reason. You Muslims don't believe that God is the Father. Why? Because you are a slave. In Christianity, we are considered as the children of God. So everything we receive is a gift, and even we don't deserve. And just to show you that the Muslims, when they play dumb, it might be not playing dumb. Muhammad is a stupid before they've been stupid. If you go in the Quran, you will see Muhammad claiming that when the Christian they say, we are the children of God. Here he is using the word Allah, but we don't believe in Allah. But we will go with him. Chapter 5, verse number 18. The Jews said, and the Christians, we are the children of Allah and his loved ones. Say, 
Oh, why the heaven does he punish you for your sin? Nay, you are but a human being. And here you see that Muhammad is being so stupid, donkey. He do not know what the Christian meant when they said we are children of God. He think that they are saying that they are not human. And based on this, Jesus each time he say, I am the son, he confirm that he is not like anyone. He is not even a human, according to Muhammad. So the Muhammadan, they inherited stupidity from the biggest stupid ever in history, the one who promised them endless penis, but not an endless intelligence. You see, the promise which is given to the Muhammadan is proving to us the quality of the IQ of the followers. Who have a little brain want to believe that there is a God if I believe in him and I kill my neighbor, I rape his wife, and kill the Jews and the Christians and the Hindus and the Buddhists, that will make me get reward in this penis. And if I die during the war with those people, Allah will make me put my soul inside a green bird. And then he will give me women for sex. So now you are a chicken, yet you are going to have sex with women. And those women, each one of them is half uh, one mile size. And the Muslim man, his penis is in this. And the vagina will be something fit for it, which means in, the, in this vagina. So you can imagine if the women have one mile ass, so we assume that her ass is one mile. I mean, we don't assume, this is the size. But how her vagina can be endless? That means there's a tube come out of her ass is a continued vagina. So we are talking to people who believe in such a garbage and they are trying to be logical. We are talking to people who believe that there is people called Gog and Magog and right now they are behind the dam built from copper and iron. And there are trillions and trillions from every one human, there is a 1,000 of Gog and Magog, what Muhammad said. And they are digging every day, trying to go through the wall. But sadly, every end of the day, they forgot to say, inshallah. So Allah, he closed the wall. Allah sitting next to the wall. Oh, he did not say, inshallah. Okay, I will close it for you. What a drama. So we are talking to people who believe in something even children who is watching cartoon, they will not even accept. Women's sperm coming from her ribs, the man's sperm coming from the backbone, the, the sperm became a, a, a congealed blood. Uh, 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 uh. But, you know, we have to admit that there's a lot of stories in the Quran which is true. If you remember, just to show you how Muslims, they, they play, how they refute you. A Muslim woman, she called me, uh, and I told her about the story of my grandfather. I don't know how many of you saw the life, what the conversation, and I'm sure many of you download the video already. So uh, I, I told her my grandfather when he died, he died standing because he was holding a stick and nobody noticed that he's dead for a year because he was holding the stick. <laughs> and she said, the story, I mean, this is story really <laughs> funny. I mean, and I like I know I and I told her you are hurting my feeling now. You are talking about my grandfather. Please sit what I can do. Sorry, I mean this story is really not doesn't sound right, you know. And then the second I said that this story is in the Quran, in a second, in the speed of light, the speed the speed, the story makes sense. I told her that he stand holding a stick and nobody noticed that he is dead and that the termite they ate his stick and fell down. She made fun of me and she did not believe in my grandfather's story, which is absolutely true story. I mean, my grandmother, she come every day. Honey, do you want to eat? He don't want to, he don't answer. My grandfather was a king and his prime minister come to him. He want to talk to him. He don't answer. Soldiers, war, he don't answer. He's holding the stick standing. Nobody noticed he's dead for a year, which is normal. I mean, maybe the, maybe this guy, like he is, you know, 
striking, maybe protesting. You never know. For a year. And those people who believe in such a garbage are trying to speak to you with logic. Chapter 34, verse number 14. Not a single Muslim asks himself how truthful this story is. Well, why do we want to ask? It's a true story. It's a very true story. The Prophet said so. Allah said so. We cannot question it. So, they supposedly they are people of logic. Read with me carefully. Hmm. Allah tell us how Suleiman, peace Allah pray as a peace on him, uh, uh, died, and how Allah concealed his death. Look at the trick of Allah. He made him die when he is holding the stick. Allah decreed that. It's not an incident like, no. I mean, think about it. Can't Allah make him live longer, just one year more? What this drama is about? So Allah looked like Allah is not a charge of death. So and Sulaiman, he died. So what he did, he make him hold the stick and make him stand. And then Allah concealed his death from the genie who were subjugated to him. I mean, the genie supposedly are like the kind of shaitan. Look how stupid those genie. They go there, they see the man is not blinking. Is that? And for a year, and by the way, his body did not decay. Why his body did not decay? He's a prophet of Allah. The prophet of Allah didn't decay like us. And this is what Muhammad told them. That when you pray, your prayer will be submitted for me. They said to him, Prophet, what do you mean submitted to you? Aren't you going to be dead and rotten? He said, no, 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 no. We are the messengers of Allah. Our body will not be consumed by the ground, by the earth. So Muhammad now talking about a prophet of Allah, who is a prophet of Allah. So no decay. What are you talking about? Was standing for a year. He can stand for a million year. And when the Muslim did not bury Muhammad for three days, Go and read the reference and see how he stink. Ibn Abbas, he says, bury your friend. He stink as all human, they stink, which means we know he is a fraud now. And actually, this is why when Muhammad died, majority number of Muslims left Islam. And then we have a war. It's called the War of Apostate. There's a big sheikh. He is a Muslim Brotherhood terrorist, Al-Qaradawi. He says, if not the war of the apostate, no Muslim left in this earth. If not the sword, Islam is dead. Go watch the video, it's in the line. So when they notice that Muhammad is a fraud and he decay and he stink and even his skin is coming out, so they buried him with his own clothing without washing him. They thought he is what he said. He said, our body will not be decayed. So why do they want to bury him? Just leave him there, you know? Three days in the heat of Saudi Arabia, you can imagine, you know, in Saudi Arabia in the sun, it can go up to 60, 70. It's a crazy hot, and we're talking about the time, there's no air condition. And the houses of Saudi Arabia at that time is not even uh, equal to a stable, you know, in any measurement for any horse in Europe. So when Muhammad, he told them about the story of Solomon, that he died standing and nobody noticed for a year because his body will not decay. He's a prophet of Allah. And Allah decided to conceal. But look what happened. Allah decided to conceal, but the termite, they destroyed the plan of Allah. So look what happened. Uh, look how many uh, Abni Abbas, etc., Mujahid, all big names in Islam. They said he stayed like this for a long time, nearly a year only. So don't be wondering why the Muslim they play stupid when they are making comment.
Thank you for answering. I do not know that the coming of Jesus is a free gift. Why did Allah ask you to pay Jesus money when he came to you in Islam? Very stupid and very low class. Those people who believe that their prophet, he asked his donkey if he liked females. The first conversation between Muhammad and an animal ever, he is practicing his knowledge, or let us say, he is doing research about the sexuality of donkeys. Imagine first time you are talking to an animal, and what is the question? Do you like females? And surprise, surprise, the donkey was a homosexual. He said, no, oh, oh, I don't like females. Have you ever heard of a donkey don't like females? Why? Maybe once a female donkey, she broke his heart. And then the Muslim, he trying to be logical. And here, nearly a year, Solomon is standing. But when the creature of the earth, look at, you know, Allah is not, calculating his number correctly he thought he can conceal him his death for longer but no the creature of the earth which is the termite ate through the stick and become weak and he fell to the ground and then it become apparent that he had died long time before brother and sisters when they ask Zakir Naik, there is a video about Zakir Naik is refuting an atheist. What is the proof of Allah? He created everything. So, Job, the Quran in the UK, he said, Brother and sister, if there is a brethren, his name is Don. And Don, he said, I have a friend. And my friend, he is going to give birth in the hospital. Is that possible? The guy was said, What? He's a friend, he's a male friend, and he's going to give birth in the hospital. Is that possible? This is how you prove that God does exist. That he have a male and he is a uh, he, he said he wanna give birth in the hospital. <laughs> so those are the Muhammadan. Low IQ is designed by them, made by them imported by them and transformed around the earth by them and they come to you to teach you logic and philosophy hmm? i mean the guy is asking you what is the proof that allah created the earth you say to him there's a guy he have a friend john he went to the hospital he said he wanted to go to the delivery is that possible it's impossible what the heck with this? So when a Muhammadan he tried to refute you, simply he is making fun of himself and mockery of others. In the same time, the Muslim they gang together and they laugh at your question, which is a smart question, and they support happily victory, Allahu Akbar, to the stupid answer that Abdul he provide. I say. Actually, the reason they don't dare to call me when I go live, for a very simple reason, they knew that the religion is a stupid religion. And they knew, because we knew, all the laundry of Muhammad, his diapers, his toilet papers, all the smell, all the poop, all the piss, we have all the books. They don't dare to call us. And the one who called, right away he tried to change the topic, and even... They deny even to accept what Muhammad said or what Muhammad said about himself. Thinking by doing that, they can run away. You show this to a Muslim, he said, I don't accept the hadith. I said, Do you accept the Quran? Oh, the Quran is corrupted. Actually, there is a guy, he challenged me to show him one contradiction in the Quran. I made a video about it, if you remember. You know, his wife already left Islam, actually, you know. But uh, the guy, he is desperately trying to find something to hold into. His wife, she is, she cannot take it no more, you know. And uh, you cannot find contradiction. 
He said, you can find contradiction in science. You can find mistake in science in the Quran because the Jews, the Jews changed the Quran. The Jews. But you cannot find contradiction in the faith. And then I made a video, if you remember, you know, about it, short video. I don't know how many of you watch it. So I noticed with my experience with the Muhammadan that they go blind when they want and they open their eyes when they want. But when they open their eyes, they are still blind. <laughs> that is the truth. Uh, and here, actually, if you read in Arabic, by the way, you will die laughing, especially those who speak Arabic, you will, you will see the stupidity. Look at this. So, uh, the jinn, you know, when, when he fared down, that prove that the jinn did not know the unseen. They do not know what unseen. The guy is in front of them, you idiot. I mean, what kind of a genie? He see a guy, he don't move. And he did not notice that after one year, still he is not, he's not, he cannot be alive. Nothing informed them, the gene, of his death except the little worm of the earth, which kept slowly grounding away his stick. So a guy, he is a king. He don't talk. He don't move. He don't blink. He don't. He, uh, uh, and uh, and I'm not. My, I'm not going to talk about the body decay because this is not even a question. You know, a year is standing and the genie did not notice that the king is dead, and the Muhammadan, they are convinced that this is a true story. And by the way, Muslims, where we can find this story about Solomon in the book of the Jews? I mean, is that in the? Holy Jewish book? Where Muhammad? Always Muhammad, he got stories from somebody. Muhammad is a thief. So where we can find those stories? Is that in the legions of the Jews? The flying carpet, flying horses, Suleiman is speaking to the end. Muhammad, he took every fairy tale. The Jews, they tell their kids and he put it in the Quran. And he make it a scientific fact. Hmm. By the way, I'm planning one day that when I am live, I'm going to die live. I mean, one life on air. But I will hold my stick and none of you will notice that I am dead. And like the life continue and people come and people go. And nobody will notice that the great temperance is dead. And this time, I will be sure I'm going not to use a piece of a stick is made from wood. No, not even from steel, because steel can rust. I will use, uh, like in, uh, in, in the Middle East, we use the word aluminium. In America, they use different word. So, I will use aluminium. It will never rust. And I challenge any termite to chew it. So I will stay live on air in YouTube. And even YouTube, they will not shut down my broadcast because they think I'm alive. I will open the camera for them. People come, people go. Muslims, you know, call me in Skype. I don't answer. He don't answer because he is, uh, you know, he is busy. And you know, the sticks, this, this is stick which the termite is eating it. Why it took them a year? I mean, like they were they were eating from which part? Usually from the floor, right? Floor and up. So the genie did not notice that the worms is all over the stick. Nobody. Maybe it's one. Maybe it was one worm. Uh, you know, this worm, she said, okay, uh, I found a stick. I will stay there for us, like, you know, and, and I will eat from it. She did not call her friends. You know, like it's a, a, a buffet. She did not call any of her friends to help her in the mission. 
So my friends, this stupid religion, uh, it's a shame for humanity that in the year 2023, we are even talking about it. It's a shame. This is the most shameful, stupid religion. Zero ethic, zero logic, zero dignity, zero honesty, zero and everything. Uh, anyway, I, I just wanted to share like this little video so we can laugh at this comment of the Mohammedan. And uh, it's obvious that Allah is God. I mean, if Allah is not God, why He want to give you 80,000 little boys in heaven? This is a promise only from a true God. His name is Satan. A God who believes in unjust. And he want to practice slavery even in heaven. That is what they call him God. A terrorist God. A prophet who made a chapter in the Quran that any believing woman she offer herself to the prophet so he can F her. You know, there's always one thing you need to be careful about. When you see a leader, any leader, you know, people, they call them leaders. Even a Christian man. Cult leaders, fake leaders, they want certain things from those who believe in them. Money, sex, and power. If you read the 16 privilege Muhammad he have written by the Muslims you will find more than half of them is about his penis chapter 33 verse number 50 it just a chapter is about how many women Muhammad can have sex with and not enough he almost, if everybody, a believing woman, she liked to offer herself to the Prophet so he can if her, the Muslim they lie and they say, so he can marry her. And you will see here the clear sign of satanic man, a privilege for you only. Do you see it? When you see a man claiming to be speaking of God, and then he gave himself a privilege of money and sex and power. That is one billion percent satanic man. Why Muhammad need a special privilege for him only about sex and money? You know, we Christians, we believe Jesus is our God. But Jesus, he did not ask for any privilege. In fact, Jesus, he washed the feet of his disciple. And when the disciple refused, he said, if you don't let me do it, you don't belong to me. I do not know you. What is the privilege of Jesus? Jesus never asked for money, sex, or power. He did not have an army. He did not own a donkey. He never even had a servant. This person resemble what we always see in every scumbag in the earth. You will find them in Christian churches. They are resembling the devil Muhammad, taking advantage of the naive Christians. You will find them in the Buddhist monks. You will find them, you know, those are evils. They use religion to deceive. They come to you, as Jesus said, they come to you in a clothes of a sheep, but in fact they are wolves. Muhammad, he did not take the clothes of a sheep, he took the clothes, clothes of a prophet. And he gave himself a privilege, all of it is about money and sex and power. Even he went after children's, this is how a pervert he is. Even he went after his own son wife. 
This is how pervert he is when she was married, not after he divorced her. You know, when the Lord, he said, from their fruits, you shall know them. That's absolutely the go not golden. I cannot even call it golden. This is the most important statement all of us we should use in everything we do in our life. Even you judge your friends. How do you know your friends? From their fruits. They call you friends. They call themselves friends. But when you need them, you do not. You don't see them. How we know they are fake friends? When I need them, I do not see them. A person who make a privilege, he should be the opposite. He should be the most humble. You know, I saw a video in the Dean show. Uh, and in the Dean show, this guy, uh, he's a Muslim convert. He is the one who run the program. Idi, Idi, the dummy. So he have Nu'man Khan, I think. And he asked him, so how we can find out that the prophet is true prophet? Nu'man Khan, he said, well, first of all, we have to, uh, uh, very simple reason. What prophet Muhammad he got from claiming to be prophet? He'd been kicked out from his land, from his home. He'd been tortured. Uh, he ran away for his life. What he got from this? Nothing. When the Quran is full of a privilege, the fifth of the booty, the one who obey Muhammad, he obey Allah. Even Muhammad, he can cancel what is supposed to be the word of Allah, replace it with his own order. Privilege of sex, privilege of women, privilege of even having sex with women without even paying them dowry, even without marriage. You know, Zainab, she said to Muhammad, because supposedly now he took her from his son. She said, but shouldn't we get married? Where is the witnesses? He said, Allah and Jibreel are my witnesses. <laughs> well, I can sleep with anyone and I can say now Allah and Jibreel are my witnesses. Have you ever heard of such a marriage? Privilege. Was Muhammad circumcised? Oh no, Muhammad do not need circumcision. What the heck? How come? I thought he's a Muslim. So you will notice that the first thing Muhammad he did, Islam is not for him. Islam or for the followers, the stupid followers. He is above Islam. A Muslim, he cannot marry more than four. If he have five, this is fornication, he should be killed. Muhammad, he can have as limited as he want because he have a privilege. His penis is higher in value. So always be careful. Uh, when a Muhammadan he come to you to speak about Muhammad, ask him a very simple question. Did Muhammad have sexual privilege or he's equal to Islam or Muslims? Do he have money privilege or he's equal to Islam and Muslims? Do he have power privilege? Even Muhammad, when he invoked his God, Muhammad, he could not have sex. Muhammad in the Hadith said, which is recorded by the Muslims, the Muhammadans, I was the most weak person in Boom Boom. And then I invoked my God and he sent me a dish of shish kebab and I ate it al kufait and I got the power of 40 men. How many Muslim men, they are buying a Viagra? Allah, he sent the dish of kufait, which is kofta, you know, to Muhammad. Privilege. To do what? To fix his sexual problem. But isn't it the Quran says, if Allah wants something to be, he say be, and it is? Why Allah did not say be, Muhammad fixed his penis? I never heard of a God, he sent a dish of shish kebab. And actually, you know, I made a mistake a long time ago when I mentioned this, the price of meat increased heavily after I mentioned this because Muslims, they start buying shish kebab.
God who sent a dish of al kufayt to fix the sexual problem of Muhammad. Muhammad, he ate it, he got the power of 40 men. Before he ate it, he had the power of zero. The hadith even says, I was the most weak person between all mankind, which means even Joe Biden, he can do better. Between all mankind. And then I invoked Allah. And he sent me a dish of shish kebab. I ate it. I get the power. Of boing. And the funny, there's different hadith says that even Fatima, she ate from the same dish. Just a question. I'm getting curious now. Did Fatima get the power of 40 men in bed too? After eating the dish? Hmm? So the Muhammadan who are trying to be logical, they bury their logic when they want and their logic try to come. But when it's come, it really is stupid. Oh, did I mention the word come? I forgot. The prophet, he said that a Muslim in heaven, his orgasm will be 70 years. The orgasm alone is 70 years. So the sex is how long? Is that a joy or this is a torture? 70 years orgasm. Muhammad is stuck with number 70. 70 years orgasm. I go to Zakar Naik first year. Look at the door. Christian Prince, I'm very busy. I'm having orgasm. Uh, okay, sorry, Zakir. I will be back later. I come a, a year after. Christian Prince, I told you I'm having orgasm. Oh, what the heck? Okay, Zakir, I'm going to come. Okay, 10 years after from now. 10 years after I came to Zakir Naik. I knock at the door. Great Prince, what's wrong with you? Am I even going to get the mail? 70 years orgasm? Are you sure? And Muhammad power in heaven, by the way, the Muslim man in the heaven, he will have the power of 100 men. Muhammad will have in the heaven the power of 40 Muslims. 40 x 100, that is 4,000 men. Privilege again. Even in heaven, Muhammad penis will be the best. So if the Muslim man will have 70 years orgasm, Muhammad will have 7,000 years orgasm. Which makes sense. It's the same as in the Quran when the Quran said that it take the angels 1,000 years to go to Allah. But Muhammad was receiving every night message. <laughs> Muhammad, he asked the angel, the angel come back, he come back after one hour, he gave him the answer. So how it, how it says it take 1,000 years to go up, which means 2,000 years to come, to come, you know, to go up and come back. Huh? And then Muhammad, he, uh, how Muhammad, he went to the heaven in, in a few hours and came back. If it take the angels 1,000 years to go up. This is your Quran, stupid Quran. But remember, Muhammadan logic is the logic of Zakir Naik. And the logic of Zakir Naik is, by the whole, the reason we don't teach Christianity in the tool because very simple. The Christians, they believe that one plus one plus one is one. So they have wrong mathematics. So we cannot allow them to taught in the school. But there's nothing that a Christian believe in something called one plus one plus one. Who is plus one? Ah, I forgot in the comment. This Abdul, you know, actually there's a different one I think he mentioned. I don't know in the same comment or not. Uh, ah, I just remember. The same Abdul, he says, is Jesus is the father? Abdul, you are just giving a screwdriver to your God because your stupid God, he said that the Christians believe that the Messiah is Allah. So 
your God is so stupid to the point, and here the word Allah supposedly replacing the Father, he is so stupid to know, to not to know, that when you say Trinity, you cannot say that Jesus is the same as the Father. This is why we believe in the Trinity. Jesus is a person, the Father is a person, the Holy Spirit is a person. So if you go in the Quran, you will see how even Muhammad, he proved again that he is a stupid idiot. Because no Christian believe in such a thing. Secondly, if the Christian believe that the Messiah is Allah, so who is the second one in the Trinity and who is the third one? Because now we eliminated two names and they become one. So who is the, where is the Trinity? <laughs> so you are being stupid like your prophet, proving to us that not only you do not know. I mean, why I want to blame you? If you're a prophet, he claimed to be a prophet, and his God claiming to be God, which is Muhammad making a fabrication, saying that the Christian believe that the Messiah is Allah. If we believe that the Messiah is Allah, that means there's no Trinity. That is a oneness of God then, as one person. Not Trinity, as one. So, your prophet is a stupid and you are just dumb. Download the video and share it with your friends. I don't want to keep you here for long. Um, remember, we, we, we don't keep our videos for long. So feel free to download them, share them with your friends. And I advise my friends, uh, Al-Bahar, Al who has God claimed that the salty water and fresh water never met because he's stupid. You can put a cup of water, of salty water, with the fresh water and let us see if they will be mixed or not. People would die laughing at you. So, download the video, share it with your friends, and we invite the Muslim to download my videos, post it in their channel, so everybody will see how amazing the Prophet is. Thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. And until we see you soon again, Christ is Lord, and Muhammad is a fool, and only foolish ones can follow him. And actually, always I say, if a foolish man, if a fool like Muhammad can fool you, how fool are you? Take care.